I thought I'd try something and make this video primarily with stock video, partially because it's too dark out to film, and partially because I think it connects to the whole steal like an artist thing I'll get into later. I just started writing a new short story, and I noticed that it has some similar elements to two of my previous short stories, Zombie, which was published in Bradley University's Broadside Journal last spring, and The Demon Arm, which will go up in The Femme sometime soon, links below. All three stories involve a protagonist who suddenly finds herself in an abnormal state of existence, that is, a changed body. All three stories deal with a sort of magical realism, surreality, reminiscent of Kafka. The one I'm writing now is specifically inspired by The Metamorphosis, which I just finished rereading. Steal Like an Artist by Austin Kleon is a popular book on writing that talks about taking elements from artists you admire and remixing them to discover and develop your own style. Kleon says, what a good artist understands is that nothing comes from nowhere. All creative work builds on what came before. Nothing is completely original. And this is a concept that's become very familiar and popular to a lot of the creators I talk to. What I don't hear talked about as much is how we steal from ourselves and how that's okay. I used to worry that the works I was producing might not end up distinguished enough from one another, and that held me back. There's a reason English classes can look at all the work by a famous author and deconstruct themes and motifs in their writing. There's a reason I heard John Green talk about the same joke about a moth in two Hank Games videos. People stick to things. We find things that interest us and we interrogate them, reckon with them. All creative work builds on what came before. I made a video about myself taking the bus recently that echoed a video I made a year ago on my old channel. I even used the same song in both of them. But the videos are different despite the similar setting and action. The point is, don't worry endlessly about each work you create being totally separate from the last, because it can't be done, and because it can be fun as an audience to notice those themes and motifs in somebody's work, so it might even make your stuff better. And I know it's not very original, but I gotta ask you to like, comment, and if you like what you see, please subscribe.